All right, so let's look at this truss, and let's determine the force in members G, F, C, F, and C, D. Uh, state whether they are in tension or compression. So we're in method of sections. Uh, the, the figure kind of shows where you might cut it. Uh, so I'm going to choose method of sections, right? Uh, I'm going to cut it and think ahead about which half I'm going to keep. Uh, I think I'm just going to keep this side of it. So all I need from the whole free body diagram, I still need to look at the whole free body diagram, but all I need is EY. I don't really need AX and AY. So I'm going to look at the whole free body diagram, thinking smart, uh, not doing too much work. I'm just going to sum what the moments about point A, right? Whole free body diagram. So, so even though even though I'm going to keep only going to keep this and I'm going to throw this half away for the whole free body diagram, uh, I still do need to consider it, everything that might create a moment about A from the whole free body diagram. So, uh, some of the moments about A. Uh, this 5 kilonewton force is acting 8 meters away, creating a negative moment. This 3 kilonewton force is acting 12 meters away, creating a negative moment. And then EY is acting 16, creating a positive moment. Set those equal to zero. Solve for EY. I've got EY 4.75 kilonewtons. All right, EY is 4.75 kilonewtons. All right, so now I'm going to keep this and cut through these three members, right? So let me draw this. I'm going to keep this, all right, and I've got three. I've got 4.75, okay, and then I'm going to cut through exposing these three forces uh, so this is the force in CD, this is the force in CF, this is the force in GF. Uh, let me draw some dimensions here. This is 4 meters tall, 4 meters that way. What direction is this one? This from C to F to C, right, that direction is uh, 4 by 4, so 45 degree angle. Uh, this one right here, though, let me be careful, is a 4 by 2, right? Over 4, up 2. So 4 by 2 by square root of 20. Okay, so there I think is my uh, free body diagram for that section, you know? Act like it's solid. A solid section that has these three unknowns for these three forces that I have um, pulled out. Uh, for these three forces, sorry, I've cut through. Alright, so summing the forces in the x direction. Now these the x, these uh, equilibrium equations, I'm defining them according to my axes. Uh, negative FCD, negative FCF, let's see, uh, cosine 45. The negative FGF, the 4 over square root of 20 component. I think that's it. That's equal to 0. Okay, let me jump to my summing the forces in Y. Negative 3. Negative 3, positive 4.75. Uh, and then let's see, the FCF is pointed down, and it, it would be like sine 45. Uh, but then FGF is pointed up 2 over square root of 20 equals 0. Okay. Uh, and then, so this was what, GF. I still kind of have too many unknowns. Let me sum my moments. I probably could sum my moments first. Some of my moments first might have been uh, better. Okay. Um, all right, let me look here, uh, and let, I could sum my moments about any point. I kind of like to sum my moments about the point that two unknowns go straight through. Um, and so my first instinct, and I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to sum my moments about that point right there, which would be point F right there. Some moments about point F because F, G, F, and F, C, F go straight through it. So some of the moments about uh, point F, um, I would get uh, F, C, D is acting four away, creating a negative, a clockwise moment. Um, remember, F, C, F goes straight through it. F, G, F goes straight through it. Three actually goes straight through it. Uh, and then the 4.75 is four away, creating a positive moment. Set that equal to zero, and I would get FCD is equal to 4.75. It came out positive, uh, which means I guessed correctly, and I guessed tension. So there we go, right there. Uh, and then if I plug this back in up here, uh, now it won't be uh, 
simple. It won't be easy, but once I plug that back, then I have two equations, two unknowns. Then I have two equations, two unknowns. And then also I see a little shortcut in that FCF sine 45 and FCF cosine 45 are equal to each other. So I would probably write this is equal to something, 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 FGF plus something, something, something. Um, plug that in right here and solve for FGF. FGF would be, let's see, negative 4.84, negative 4.84 kilonewtons. So what am I going to do? I'm going to, sorry, say FGF is 4.84 kilonewtons uh, compression. And then I'm going to plug back in the negative, remember, plugging back in, um, since I'm going backwards to an equation, I've already written, plug in negative 4.84 right there, and solve for FCF, uh, and I've got negative 0.589 kilonewtons. What I want you to do, FCF is 0.589 kilonewtons compression. Box it in. There we go. All right, so one thing. Don't tell me negative. I've, I've talked about this. Don't tell me negative and compression, right? Tell me the magnitude is 5.589, and then tell me compression. Telling me negative and compression is kind of like a double negative. All right, so what I'm looking for, these three things box in. FCD is 4.75 newtons in tension. FGF is 4.84 kilonewtons in compression. That's, are these... So I think all, these should all be in kilonewtons. Uh, and then FCF is 0.589 kilonewtons in compression as well. So let's take a step back and look at this. I looked at the whole free body diagram and I just saw for EY. I definitely could have looked at the whole free body diagram and sum the force in X to get AX. It's probably zero. Sum the force in Y to get AY. Uh, but since looking ahead, I was only going to keep the right half of it. I didn't do that. Um, if you want to double check, if you have time, you know, if you're interested, curious, if you want to double check your answers, you could solve for AX and AY, and you could keep this, right? And then you would draw FGF that way, FCF that way, FCD that way, and solve for those three unknowns right there. You should still get the same answer. All right. Sum the force in X, sum the force in Y, sum the moments. Um, I think I would have done a little bit better. Now, I don't think I would have looked ahead this much, but uh, if I could have summed my moments about this point C right here, then FCF and FCD would go straight through it. I would solve for FGF, then I could just plug it into one equation. I think I, that's how I could have kind of had one equation, one unknown for my moment equation, one then plugged it in, one equation, one unknown for my Y equation, and then plug it in one equation, one unknown. So uh, you can sum your moments about um, any point that you want. Some will make the math easier than others, right? The method of sections, look at the whole free body diagram, solve for some things, cut it, and look at one half or the other. Throw away the other half that you're not looking at. Look at one half, draw those um, forces that you cut through. I like to draw them in tension to begin with, and if my answer comes out negative, then those were in compression. All right.